We're at the Broadcast Bionics booth here at IBC 2016, and Dan McQuillan is here. Hi, Dan. Good to see you. Uh, good to be here. Yeah. So you um, you got something to show here that's pretty amazing for radio stations. Yes. Yeah, so it's been very popular recently that radio stations want to visualize what they do. So they want to take cameras and switch automatically based on the audio. And we've made a way of doing that using Livewire and a thing we call Virtual Director. So I got a feeling, we were talking before this interview, that somehow you're making the audio console into a, you say, you call it a visual switcher? Yes, so typically you expect to see a T-bar and a vision mixer, yes, uh, yes. but we're making radio, so we want to have just the same workflow. You, you walk into the studio, you open the microphone, you start talking, yeah. but the cameras start reacting to that using Livewire. We're monitoring the console and monitoring the audio all over the network, and so we can make decisions about which camera to take just based on what you're doing on a standard radio console. And those decisions can be overridden, I suppose? Yes, yeah, so you can use the A, B keys on the bottom to decide to manually switch, uh, or we can generate graphics based on social media from Phonebox, and then you can can actually fade the graphics in just using a fader on your on your fusion console. So what are we looking at here? What's this? So this is uh, Phonebox, which is our talk show platform, but it's extended to now include social media. And as we click away on here, we can see a, uh, a photo which has been sent into the station. So if we open the console here, and as we start talking, the cameras will switch to me. You see up up there where it's switching over to you or ah, switching over to. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm speaking in here, it switches to me. I can then take that image and I can send that up. So that image will now be generated as a graphic, sent over the network, and then the photograph there is, is appearing on the TV. So you can take images and videos sent in by listeners, user-generated content, and push them straight from this screen into the visualization. And then when we finish the link and we close the faders, then again, the system will automatically pull to a wide shot. It's automatically pulled graphics ah. from the artist that's playing. So we make radio, and this turns it into television. But it looks like uh, you just said something that, um, uh, wow, uh, set off a light bulb in my head. You're using your listeners to generate some of the content, or and, and you get to pick and choose what that content is from your listeners. Yes, yeah, so that's, it's our listeners and also social media content. Right. So because I'm about to play a song by Taylor Swift, the system automatically goes away and finds Taylor Swift's Facebook page and Twitter page, pulls images and stuff from her, so we can use that content directly. So we're taking text and images from users and making that part of that visual mix. Doing all of that because we want when the microphone was open, we were doing all that switching stuff. When the microphone's closed, we stopped recording. And now I can come straight over here, uh, and I can take the media that we just did. Okay. So here's us talking in the back of your head. Uh, and I can put an in point there. I can put an out point there. I can hit share. And now that's on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Type the message, and it's gone. Holy cow. So I don't need a separate producer to do that. Open the microphone, speak afterwards, that bit. Facebook, Twitter, gone. Social media producers of the world, look out. Uh, oh, it means you can do a lot more, a lot yeah. more quickly. Yes. So, uh, you know, you can really get content out. Right now, it's taking people several hours to do that and a lot of expensive equipment. Here, you walk in, open the faders, talk, close them, say, that was a good link, wasn't it? Let's crop that little bit out. And before the next song is finished, it's gone. Dan, I know you've got more to talk about. Why don't we do another interview about some of the auto um, conversion of speech to text? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll come back into another one. I'm Kirk Harnack at IBC 2016 in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm.